Okay, hello everyone. Uh, this is my unboxing and how to tutorial of how to use the R4, which isn't like some people just using a camera. I'm actually going to be screen recording at the same time so you get good focus. So if I click to that now, as you can see, I'm on the screen. Um, and this is the r4ds.co.uk site and the r4ds.com site, same company. And back to the camera. Okay, so this is the R4. Comes in a nice little pack with this in a brown packet. The company that sells them, which I'll mention later, uh, ships to the whole world, so you don't need to worry about where you are. Oh, that was doggy. Uh, and if I get that out, this pack here with the uh, label in comes with the USB that you use to get all the things onto your um, memory stick, kind of and this which is the R4 card which plugs into your DS right and this I'm not going to get this out because it's going to be fiddly uh, holds the micro SD adapter and the mini one which you can put into this and this respectively um, so now to the screen recording so this is the r4ds.co.uk site up here uh, and this is the r4ds.com site. I use .co.uk just to make sure they could get it to me because obviously that's .co.uk but .com does basically the same thing you just go to r4ds here in the corner click it blah 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 and the one I got was this one uh, which is yeah $15.95 so about 12 quid if you're English uh, and then once you've got it and you've got all this stuff that I've just shown you, apart from the DS, that's probably about 100 quid separate, obviously. Uh, you go to kernel download if you don't, didn't get the pack with the CD, which uh, may, means you can use it without this download. Select that, and you do have to be on the .com site to get this, because I don't know where it is on here. You can probably find it, but I think it's a lot easier if you just go to the .com site and download it. Uh, so just a recap of that. Go to Code UK if you're from England, uh, buy the R4 Revolution for DS, uh, or if you aren't worried about it not shipping, then you can go to .com and get the one I just showed you, and then you go to the kernel download when you've got it, and download R4 DS V1.18 kernel download, and click the English one, as you see, English, French, Korean. So you click that, and then it should, if you go to your downloads, um, let's just go there. Um, right, it should be somewhere. Oh, I think I moved it. Yes, I did. Okay, where did I move it to? Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. let me think. Maybe it's on my desktop. Wait a second. Wait a second. There it is. Yeah, I made an R4 folder on my desktop. Doesn't matter if you move it. Uh, and you and it'll come up as English one dash one eight dot R A R, which I just say rar. Um And if you just double click on that, it opens up all this stuff, which is the important stuff. Uh, and you don't actually need that, uh, but you need all this because it means you can get all the games you need. And then what you do, I'll bring the camera background. You get the USB. Okay, get that out and then open this. Uh, let me just open this and get out the little tiny little two gigabyte thing and put that here into the back and it shows you there which shape it has to be when you push it in and it just simply clicks in like that. Then you come around and plug that into the computer under the external hard drive USB cable. Sorry about that. I should really have unplugged that. Uh, and yeah, the boom noise. And now I'll just go back to the screen. Okay, so it should just come up in your computer. If you go to computer, here it is. Removable disk G. And you go into RPG. And to get the games, all you have to do is download the NDS file. So I've got Pokemon White.NDS. And all you do is just drag it. Games isn't here when you originally open the RPG folder so what you should do is just right click new folder create a games folder and it will come up on your DS when you use it and then just drag and drop Pokemon White NDS into there 
and you're done with that bit. Um, take out the USB, take out the gaming thing, this little chip, and then you have to put it into the R4 kind of, I don't know what it's called, but the, the bit you put into the DS. Again, it shows you which way round to put it. I'm just doing it now because it's a bit fiddly. There you go, it just slots in there in the corner. Uh, and you take your DS, go around the back, take out your game, obviously. Sorry, forgot about that. And plug in the R4 DS thing. Obviously, you can't use a screen recorder for this anymore, so that's the end of that bit. Oh, this is going to be bad quality now. Uh, just turn it on and it'll come up automatically with the R4DS screen oh maybe it, yeah there we go loading and you get down here all your bits let me just focus the camera okay so all you do you can do anything you like just go down down blah 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 and all that favorite stuff is customizable but this is the main bit go into the micro SD card RPG games and there it is Pokemon White Nintendo just select it and it runs as it would if it were a normal DS game. Yep, there you go. Uh, and it's Pokemon White. Let me just turn the sound up. There you go. Um, so yeah, that's how to use the um, R4 DS card. If I can just find the piece of paper that came with it. To end the video on. There it is. Spin around on it. Oh, the sound of Pokemon White in the background. Thanks for watching, that's how to use the R4DS to get the game onto your DS.